The first album came out, we had still never played in public. We'd never had a band together in our lives. See, I, she was in school. You know, she'd just gotten out of high school and we signed with RCA and I wasn't going to let her play honky-tonks or we weren't going to put together a band. I wanted her to be as normal as she could be. So what that video from the WHS archives as we say goodbye to country legend and Kentucky native Naomi Judd. We go back to our archives. That was our interview with her in 1986. And take a look at this right here. You're watching her induction into the Walk of Legends in Louisville in 2013. This is right here in Louisville. Last night, her daughters, Winona and Ashley, paid tribute to her going into the country music Hall of Fame. Love can build a the world celebrating the timeless melodies from mother-daughter duo The Judds this morning while mourning the loss of Naomi Judd as country music honors her legacy. Her daughters, Winona and Ashley, stepped forward to remember their mom. I'm going to make this fast because my heart's broken. Winona emotional as she accepted the award just one day after her mother's passing. I feel so blessed and it's a very strange dynamic to be this broken and this blessed. Her sister, actress Ashley Judd, in tears. My mama loved you so much, and she appreciated your love for her. And I'm sorry that she couldn't hang on until today. The two women acknowledging their profound grief as they navigate what they call unknown territory. Though no exact cause of death has been revealed, Ashley tweeting a statement Saturday saying, We sisters experienced a tragedy. We lost our beautiful mother to the disease of mental illness. The Judds skyrocketed to fame in the 1980s, becoming one of the most successful duos in country music history, with 14 number one singles, five Grammys, and more than 20 million albums sold. But behind the success, Naomi revealing she was struggling, telling our Robin Roberts in 2016 about her private battle. Because they see me in rhinestones, you know, with glitter in my hair. That really is who I am. But then I would come home and not leave the house for three weeks and not get out of my pajamas, not practice normal hygiene. It was really bad. Naomi candid about her struggle with depression. Why now, Naomi? Why do you share this now? Because what I've been through is extreme. My final diagnosis was severe depression treatment resistant because they tried me on every single thing they had in their arsenal. I'm content and at peace because I practice radical acceptance every single day. Please join me in telling the truth about depression and anxiety to anyone who will listen. It's a disease of the brain. Through it all, music was her comfort. The music that I created, this meditation music, um, just would help me. And love, just, a song. just as it helped millions of her fans. Naomi, a single mother who had Winona as a teenager, working as a waitress, eventually becoming a nurse before turning to country music. The two performing their hit, Love Can Build a Bridge, just three weeks ago at the CMT Awards. It would be their final performance together. Love, no, let love. Naomi Judd was 76 years old.